Psst. The place has a quiet... Sheep's voice warbles. You realize it's trying to say bar. The smell of rot assaults your senses as the illusion vanishes. A diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. He seems unaware that his illusion has failed. The brothers? I guess they didn't find their sister. Very fine blade and hat. Left behind by some unfortunate adventure seeker, perhaps. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite, and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. I did, dearie. And frankly, you're thick for saying so. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door, but I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. <sniffs> that hag doesn't tell us what to do. What is it? What's going on? That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. <laughs> Enough! Away with you! Blessed silence at last! Some time in the cage should do her good! And you! You'll regret sticking your nose in my business!
live. Alright, Karlak, it's go time. I'm petrified! What? How... How am I still breathing? I have the bite! I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Your insides... end up on the outside. Petrification stops the spread. I was on death's door. No, I feel... I feel great! Oh! Not only is the disease gone, you see it's left no scars. An impossibility for the bite. What? But that doesn't make a lick of sense. Unless... That double-crossing, filthy, lying hag! She made me sick and then trapped me in stone for kicks! 
I left me wife, me kids behind for fear of infecting them. They were only babes. The stones know how old they are now. Huh? I thought the same. Till I held me own in me arms. Ain't nothing like it. I'll get to see them again. Hold them again. Cause of you. I ain't got no way to repay you. No, what you've done for me and mine today won't be forgotten. Thank you. My dearest Efren, he begged me to halt the deadly disease that ravaged him. Is the hat gone? Gods, tell me she's gone. Oh, please. Yes, I will. Forgive me. A thief who tried to steal from Auntie. We need to leave. You're not supposed to be here. She'll be furious. I thought I was lost. Could feel my mind slipping away. If it weren't for you, I would have ended up like the others. Hollowed out and as good as dead. Sheer desperation. My mother's mind is gone. She's forgotten herself. I tried medicine, magic, prayer. I'd have begged Merkel himself if I thought he'd listen. Heard about this wise woman out in the back end of nowhere who could help. I knew it was too good to be true, but... I didn't care. Home to Baldur's Gate. This isn't over yet. You think Ethel was the only hag in the realms? Not by a long shot. There's more hags out there, and I'm going to do what I can to make sure no one else has to go through what I did. Why is Auntie so quiet? I'm scared. Auntie's dead? No. No, 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 no! There is no mask. But leave me alone! Auntie will be awake soon. She'll be so angry. You can't take Auntie's gift! I won't let you!
Did something happen to Auntie? I, I can't feel her anymore. Oh dear. I forgot to plump her pillows this morning. Feel that one later. There, in the cage. she wanted my baby and God I was going to do it for him my husband she was going to bring him back bring on her back to life Connor would have done anything to save me I had to do the same I just wanted everything back it's my own fault for letting her. Look, I don't like owing people. Here, this socket is worth some coin. It's this 
or the clothes off my back. And I'm not walking out of here, Starkers. You want it or not? Just look after it, all right? My husband gave it to me. I should take him home. His coffin is just upstairs. A decent burial is the least I can give him. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else who would have saved me.
fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Powdered iron vine. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. Today, the same as you, a humble supplicant, come to bargain with the lady of this house. Though, perhaps I speak too swiftly. You have an odor of your own, or the stench of fey blood. You've already met the hag, then. Truly? I won't mourn her passing. Though I hoped she would help me on my hunt. I can wait. You, on the other hand, should already be running. A coven will hear of this. They'll stop plotting to kill one another just long enough to focus all that energy on you. Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. No. This duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate, alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children. And we've been searching for them ever since. We believe this Astarian knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. If captured, my people will make him talk. So I ask again. Is he known to you? You do know him? I don't suppose you'll tell me where he is. As you say, then I must redouble my efforts and pray my delay costs no more lives. You chose to shield a star.
gods! Didn't hear you coming. I know I should head home, but I can't bring myself to leave. The thought of putting him in a wheelbarrow and making the journey all over again. <sighs> what? You can! You feel a surge of power from the wand. The air suddenly tastes acrid. It wants to be used. Bring it back! Bring Connor back! Please! feel something pull at you. The creature yearns for a master. What have you done to him? Oh, this isn't what she promised! I wanted him back, back the way he was, not this. No! Don't put him in the ground. He was... He is afraid of the dark. I'll do it. I'll take him. I promised him I'd fix this. And I'm gonna. Maybe... Maybe someone in Baldur's Gate can help us. I'll... I'll figure something out. Come on, love. Let's... Let's go. Here lies Connor, beloved husband and a tasty little morsel to boot. Lady of Sorrows, guide us. Did you want something? What's on your mind? Always. <laughs> Sparks. <laughs> Greetings. 